So hello, my name is Glenn, and in today's video, looking at the 2011 WWF 50 pence coin from the United Kingdom. And this is a coin that was designed by Matthew Dent, and he's the designer of the current UK circulating coin, so just a normal design, uh, the one pence to the one pound coins. And uh, this one's a bit confusing, but WWF, World Wildlife Fund, it is supposed to represent uh, nature, but it also has uh, human impacts on nature. On the obverse, so this is the front of the coin, we have Elizabeth II. So this is the Ian Rank Broadly effigy, and his initials are down below. So if there are no initials down below, it's probably a die field. If it's in this condition, it probably is. If it's well worn a coin, then it probably is uh, just been scraped off by usage. So we have 50 pence, Elizabeth II, De Gratia Regina Fidei Defensatrix. And that just means Elizabeth II, by grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. So, And the UK is the last country to have Latin for the motto um, of the royal family. Uh, the other countries like Spain, Sweden, Denmark, and any other royal kingdom have switched to uh, using a native language. So this one, in the center, we have the panda, which is the logo of the WWF. And let's have a look and see if we can identify the actual animals around it. So we're starting from the left side. So we've got the butterfly. We have, I don't know what that is. Might be a type of uh, sea cucumber. This one looks like it might be a diatom. Then we have a beetle, banana, palm tree, frog. Uh, a pine tree, then a hand, so this is human impact. Then we have a gastropod, uh, a ship. We have, is that a cloud? Looks like a cloud. Then we have a chili. Well, I think in America, that chili. Yeah, we call them chilies in Australia. Very hot. Then we have a leaf. It might be a sea fan, not too sure. Looks like that's waves. Could be water, could be electromagnetic. Could be uh, just uh, you know energy going through the atmosphere. A car, We've got a parrot of some sort. Not too sure. Cacti, sea star or starfish. Looks like we've got another leaf. Uh, then we got is that a light bulb? Could be a pear, pig, a dolphin, tree, a fish. Might be a tuna. We have the sun, lion. This looks like a shark. That looks like another leaf, or maybe it, it could be a decomposed leaf with just the veins on it. Could be a trilobite. Don't know. Pyramids. That might be a dugong. Um, turtle. Tortoise. A house. Uh, that could be a bird of prey. Uh, could be a kite. Then we have gorillas, looks like gorillas, another gastropod, so that's probably a land gastropod, this is probably a, a sea gastropod, even though these type of shells do occur on land. Then we have a whale, so that's sperm whale, a penguin, now this one might be a bivalve or brachiopod, one of those two, then we have a hippo, uh, elephant, a moon, snake, mushroom, that might be a puffin. This might be a virus. Or it could be a satellite. One of those two. A, a seed. That might be a... Oh, what seed is that? Acacia or something? Macadamia? I don't know. Some tree that occurs in the Northern Hemisphere. Footprint. That might be a badger. Looks like a, a gull. Probably not a silver gull. They occur in Australia. Probably a black-headed gull or something like that. So most of those are pretty identifiable. Some of them are a bit confusing. 
Anyway, the value of this coin is about $8 or four pounds. That's what you'd be paying for in this condition. Uh, if you want one in uncirculated, you're going to be paying a bit more, probably at least 10 to $20. Actually, I'd say $20 in uncirculated condition. And the mintage is three and a half million or 3.4 million. Is Boofy uncirculated 100,000 and is 28,974 proof. So the proof coins are about 30 to 40 dollars each. So it's a nice coin to actually get. And uh, if you don't have it in your collection, check your change if you're in the UK. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be paying. $8 for one of these coins. Hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.